I get a lot of feedback about the cars I critique, often aimed at their overwrought complexities. It seems as though some of you simply want a raw elemental machine focused on two things, car and driver. Well, that's exactly the point of this Alfa Romeo 4C, now available in a vitamin D formula. It's been a year or so since I tested the new 4C Coupe, the little mid-engine two-seater that ushered Alfa's return to the U.S. market. So singularly purposed, I claimed it to be one of the most enjoyable cars I've ever driven. And now I'm with the convertible, or Spider, if you will. For an extra $10,000, you get a little closer to nature and the exhilarating sounds from the Sport Tune dual exhaust. Fancy retractable hard tops and power mechanisms be damned. This guy here unclips in six places and rolls up for storage in the back. It's not something you can do in a flash, and it's a bit cumbersome for just one person. But because of its flexible nature, it stows away easily, and more importantly, its simplicity still keeps the Spider's weight under 2,500 pounds. And though I've spent only a little time with it fixed in place, it keeps the cabin quieter than expected. It doesn't seem to seal too tightly, but I didn't give it the old car wash treatment to see if it leaks. The glass deck lid is gone, which is sad because you can't see the engine anymore without lifting the hatch, but the black halo adds to, rather than detracts from, the 4C seductive styling. A carbon fiber halo is optional. Speaking of that state-of-the-art material, which is three times stronger and seven times lighter than steel, you'll also find it used on the windshield frame, exclusive to the Spider. And of course, the monocoque chassis is made from it too, and weighs only 236 pounds. And then optionally, you can add it to the interior trim. This F1-inspired approach to engineering adds to the driving enjoyment and also lends a very technical look. Metal sheets, carbon fiber, and exposed fasteners immediately convey the feel of a race car. This isn't for the luxury roadster set, far from it. This is for the driver with enough expendable cash to afford a second car that can be driven hard on or off the track. I love convertibles, and the Spider removes the ceiling to even more fun from behind the wheel. But this car is laser focused on driving and nothing else. So any fantasies you may have about weekend getaways should be eradicated. The ride is firm, the cabin is loud, and the creature comforts are few and far between. The 1750cc engine is a turbocharged, remarkably fuel-efficient hooligan, making more from its 237 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque than any other car. Harnessing that output is a six-speed twin-clutch transmission with a fully automatic mode that brilliantly simulates manual shifts, or you can do it yourself. And the DNA selector makes those shifts even more aggressive in dynamic and race modes. The latter also killing electronic safety nets and providing a launch mode, resulting in the same 0 to 60 run of 4.1 seconds as in the coupe. Speed builds rapidly with only a hint of lag, and the resulting sounds are purely Italian. It's not Lambo loud, but it's in the ballpark. My car's already glued to the road handling is enhanced by the optional track package with higher performing shocks, larger sway bars, and Pirelli P0 racing tires, 18 inches in the front, 19 in the back. This also includes a flat bottom steering wheel, carbon fiber side mirrors, and black leather performance seats with microfiber inserts. The absence of power steering is perhaps the 4C's most distinguishing feature requiring some muscle early on, but then connecting you to the wheels like none other. And braking is ridiculous, 60 to zero and under 100 feet. Everyday ride quality is stiff, but not the backbreaker you're imagining. You're much more likely to twist your spine simply trying to get in and out, not easy. Plus the seat is not height adjustable. Inside, there's a new Alpine stereo with premium speakers, but this is a terribly poor environment for listening to music, plus its off-the-shelf look and usability basically render it as decorative. The front doesn't open, at least not for you, so the rear cubby is the full extent of luggage room, and stuff at space is at a premium. You can place your phone in this little holder, and then it's time to focus on driving. Gas mileage on premium is rated at a true 24 MPG city, 34 highway. How about that? The as-tested price of this model is $79,495. Alpha only sells 30 or so 4Cs every month, 
largely because its hard and fast nature appeals to a very small group of drivers. But for those who can, the 4C Spider would make for one heck of a summer toy. For testdrivenow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.